Hey there, I'm going to grab you for a quick sec to talk about a concept that's been ruminating around in my head about responsibility. Now, this came from a couple of different things that I saw posted by friends of mine on Facebook this week. One was, and the gist of the post had to do with, um, do we have a responsibility to be good? thought-provoking question. And then the other one is um, this meme that I've also attached to the video that my friend Michelle posted today, um, which I 100% wholeheartedly believe in what this meme has to say. However, there's some caveats in that. And I'm hoping that you'll be able to connect the dots when I kind of talk through my thoughts here. So first of all, addressing this, do we have the a responsibility to be good? So. When I think of the word responsibility, I really go back to um, the seven habits of highly effective people and how Stephen Covey in his chapter about proactive thinking talks about the word responsibility as being our response ability. Okay, response ability. So there are responses and there are reactions. Now, I have been a coach now since 2008 and I started on a journey in 2005 of this like really being committed to self-discovery. So the ability to respond, I have a different ability to respond to something than somebody else does because I have put that work in. I also have a different ability to respond because I have different things that have happened in my life. I've had relatively little actual external trauma, although I do believe we all have trauma and it is all our responsibility to heal it or to help others heal it. The problem is, is that when people get mired in deep level trauma, things actually happening to them, they're going to have a different ability to respond to something. So let's look at the meme for a second. When we look at that meme, we see love is the solution, meditation is the solution, forgiveness is the solution, a small act of kindness is the solution. Of course it is. Of course it is. But we're all coming from a different place in terms of our ability to live and embody that. So when we say things like this, yes, of course. Of course we can respond in that way. However, some people can't. Some people are not going to see that love is the solution because guess what? They have actually been a victim of external forces and victimization does exist. And you're not going to raise somebody out of feeling the victim by being 100% all light and love. I personally believe in light and love. And I also understand that my privilege means that I grew up with a worldview that led me to understand that. Okay. So it's sort of two competing ideas going on. But what I really want to hammer home is that if you want to be the change that, um, that you want to see in the world, Take a look at how you are reacting versus response responding. And if you have the response ability, okay? Do you have the response ability? And honestly, love is the solution. Let's help everybody we know get to that vibration. And we're going to do that by recognizing that it comes from within.